Leo. This is your Just Cause reading for November 2022. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for November 2022. In love. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Leo for November 2022 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for November 2022 in love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Leo... This is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Leo, this is you. This is your partner. So, Leo, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For November 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Leo, is the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Leo, listen, you guys could be getting each other's attention. Yes, very well could be that something is being brought to someone's attention. They're beginning to recognize something or this is an announcement being made. This could also be victory and success here. Clarify the six of wands for Leo and their partner. Clarify the Six of Wands for Leo and their partner. Clarify the Six of Wands for Leo and their partner. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So listen, Leo, very well could be an offer coming in that someone's thinking about missing. However, someone could be contemplating sending an offer. They just fear it won't be accepted. So listen, it very well could be that someone's getting the other's attention and offering them, but they're thinking about missing it. Or someone here is contemplating coming in with this offer, maybe wanting to make an announcement here. So we'll see. Leo, you have the Knight of Wands. <laughs> you have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Page of Swords. Your partner has the lovers. Your partner has the hangman. And your partner has the nine of swords. Hmm. So listen, Leo, very well could be that there's an offer coming into someone, you know, and they're just thinking about missing it, okay? Someone's getting their attention here. However, someone may want to come in with an offer and make some type of announcement, but maybe afraid it won't be accepted. Leo, you have the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Leo, you know, very well could be a rush to do something here. 
Could be a Russian in going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo. It is clarified with the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Now listen, Leo, very well could have had a Russian in going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. And this is the reason why you're closed off. You know, they may want to come over and get your cookies and you're closed off to it. Maybe they're showing you some attention here and you're like, oh no, no thank you. That's what I was smirking about earlier, okay? Leo, I hope you're not keeping something close to your chest about you being a player out here. Listen, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy, so listen, Leo, you know, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance here. You know, someone could have commitment on the brain. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to a commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Leo. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So listen, Leo, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me you've come into some truth and clarity here. You can tell me that you're making a decision or using the sword to sever. Now, this could be a conversation concerning these coins here. However, it could also be a conversation or a decision needing to be made concerning commitment. You could also tell me that they were out being a player. This is the reason why you're closed off and maybe making a decision to end things here. Use this sword to sever. Leo, you have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So listen, Leo... Very well could be some immature, premature communication had here. Yes. Or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Leo. Clarify the page of swords for Leo. Clarify the page of swords for Leo. It is clarified with the ace of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, Leo, you know, you could have a spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. So listen, Leo, you can tell me that, hey, you know, you guys had this passionate communication, some type of immature, premature communication going on here. Yes. You can tell me that you went looking and spying and you discovered that they started a passionate new beginning somewhere out being a player. And this is the reason why you're closed off here. So Leo, listen, something could have been brought to your attention. You began to recognize something here and maybe you're rejecting them. Okay. You're closed off to them because you're discovering something. Leo, your partner has the lovers. 
Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Leo, could be dealing with a Gemini. But your partner could tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. Your partner could tell me there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For Leo's partner, clarify the lovers. For Leo's partner, clarify the lovers. For Leo's partner, it is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So listen, Leo, your partner could tell me that they're independently abundant on their own or they're single. Now listen, your partner could tell me that, hey, they have this partnership with work or business and they have this abundance here. You know, I don't know what happened. Did you guys sever some type of partnership here? Because you could be suffering financial lack and there's an argument taking place here. However, Leo, is it that your partner is saying that they're single because someone had another other lover? Or are they trying to blame you? Was it something that you were keeping close to your chest here? Hmm. Leo, your partner has the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But your partner may be beginning to change their perspective. So Leo could be dealing with a Pisces, but your partner could tell me that you guys are stagnant. However, they could be changing their perspective here. Clarify the hangman for Leo's partner. Clarify the hangman for Leo's partner. Clarify the hangman for Leo's partner. The emperor. Clarify the hangman for Leo's partner. Clarify the hangman for Leo's partner. Clarify the hangman for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Leo could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Leo's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Leo's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Leo's partner. It is clarified with you, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So listen, Leo, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Leo's partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Leo's partner. What does Leo's partner think of Leo? What does Leo's partner think of Leo? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Leo's partner. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So listen, Leo, could be dealing with a Scorpio, but I asked, what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you're ending things. Your partner may think that you want to start new after ending, or we're going through some type of transformation or change here. However, your partner could tell me that, yeah, you guys are stagnant, but they're wanting to transform things and start new with you. After some type of ending here, clarify death for Leo's partner. Clarify death for Leo's partner. Clarify death for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is your partner being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? 
So listen, Leo, your partner's at a place where they're needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. So listen, your partner's telling me that you guys are stagnant and they can tell me they want to end things with you because they feel like you are keeping something close to your chest about out being a player here. Mm -hmm. And you guys are having this communication concerning you starting this passionate new beginning. However, Leo, your partner could also tell me that, you know, should I just let it in here or... Should I come in and start new after an ending because it's their fault, okay? Maybe you discover that they were out being a player and you're kind of closed off, so they're at a crossroads. Leo, your partner has the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in their mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So your partner's all up in their head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, secure coming into your partner. And this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift. Anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. Now listen, Leo, you know, your partner's all up in their head, stressed and worried about maybe some type of practicality because it very well could be that they're getting this attention and, you know, success here, but maybe it's coming between you guys here. And maybe they're thinking about missing the offer. However, your partner could be all up in their head because they're wanting to transform things here, okay? Maybe they're wanting to come in with an announcement for commitment here, but they just have this fear you won't accept this offer. Leo, this is your Just Cause reading for November 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week.